Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn a very important constraint, which is center constraint. So first of all, we are going to read the definition of that particular constraint. For that, just go to assembly constraints. Then just go to the center. As per the definition, centers one or two objects between a pair of objects or centers a pair of objects along another object. So we are going to break this definition in different parts. So first it says as centers one or two objects. That means prior selection is related to one or two objects. Then between a pair of objects. That means pair means two. Okay. So it is going to either have one or two in the prior selection. Then later selection should be a pair. That means 1, 2, 2 or 2, 2, 2. Okay. And in the next part, it says as all centers a pair of objects along another object. That means 2, 2, 1. So this is how it works. So I'm just going to click on this here. What I have just said about this 1, 2, 2. Then we have 2, 2, 1. Then we have 2, 2, 2. This is exactly what we will get in the definition as well. So we are going to understand how it works in this video. So let's start. So first we are going to understand about 2, 2, 2. Because it is going to be easy to understand with. So first I am just going to have the top view of this. Just press F8. Now you can clearly see that this portion this yellow portion on which I am just having my mouse is not symmetric to these faces these inner faces of the main body so how I can perform this symmetricity so for that just have 2 2 2 and I'm just going to perform the selection of the outer faces of this yellow part so this is the first face and this is going to be the second phase so this is 2, 2, 2. That means for the one body, there should be two selections. So I have performed two selections, which is this face and then this face. Make sure to first select two faces of the same part. Now just get to the second part. So for that, again 2. Why 2? Because we have 2, 2, 2. So I have already selected the two faces. Now it's turn to select the two faces of another part. So I'm just going to select the inner face like this and then this one. So here you can see like if I just go like this earlier it was let me just uh, first click on OK. Now earlier it was like this and now it is like this after applying the constraint. So this is how we can maintain the symmetricity of the part. So this is regarding the 2, 2, 2. Now we are going to understand about 2, 2, 1. So I'm just going to have 2, 2, 1. And here the same scenario regarding the selections. So I'm just going to select this face, then this face. And I need this to be get symmetric about this plane. So this is how it works. If I just press F8 from the top view, now you can see this part is symmetric about these inner faces of the main body and the black portion is symmetric about this XZ plane. So this is how we can use the center assembly constraint. And we are remaining with uh, only one option which is uh, 1, 2, 2. So it works in the same way like I'm just going to disturb the position of this. If I just uh, move this here and just go to assembly constraints. And this time I'm just going to have 1, 2, 2. So this is 1. As per the selection, we have to respect the selection principle. Okay. As you can see here, this is 1, 2, 2. So I need to select an object only, a single object. So I have selected this plane. Now I have to select two faces. So this is the one face and this is going to be the another face. 
So you can see this is how it works with one to two selection. So I hope the selection principle is clear to you along with how the center constraint works. We have three selections or we can say as three subtype one to two, two to one and then two to two. So if you have any question regarding the center assembly constraint, you can let us know through the comment box below. So that is all regarding the center assembly constraint. I hope the concept of the center constraint is clear to you. That is all. And if you have learned something new from this video, please do hit a like, share this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you so much.